I recommend when you're working on the decks, don't remove these if they're self-tapped into the housing because you will most likely break the bolt heads off. If there's no nut on the bottom side of these, like these here, just the threads sticking out, they're self-tapped into the spindle, into the aluminum, and they'll break off most of the time. You can kind of tell by looking at the aluminum how aged it is, how much it's been left outside. If it looks rough like this, more than likely those are going to snap off. If it's been kept in the garage, you got a good chance of getting them out, but you can do all the work you need to without pulling those off unless the deck is damaged around where it bolts to the deck. Otherwise, I would leave those spindles alone and just take your upper nut off and your knock your spindle out. This is the newer one you can get. Most of the older ones didn't come with grease fittings on them. If you order a new one, be careful and try to order one that has a grease fitting on it. The bearings will come with grease in them, but the spindle assembly will not be pumped up with grease. So you want to pump about 25 to 30 squirts of grease in one until you see it coming out the top or bottom side. Then you'll know you've got that thing packed full of grease and it'll last a lot longer. If you keep it greased every year, it'll probably last forever. Most people don't grease them. has the two bolts and the center large center hole here's a new set of blades for the older setups with the three holes in them and these brand new on Amazon are about 26 to 30 dollars somewhere in that price range I got these this time for 26 I recommend a Kevlar belt. You can get them on Amazon for about $19.95 with free shipping. And then this is the large idler pulley. You can get these for $13. This is the smaller tensioner pulley. You can get these for about 10. And these are the deck repair rings. If you got serious damage like this, Or if you want to prevent damage, I would recommend putting those on when you replace your spindle. One of the best things you can do to prevent damage to your deck. These things are twice as thick as a deck is. They provide a lot of support. Be very wise to put these on. This is the newer model seven point star blades and they're a little bit more expensive i don't know what the difference is but they've got to have more money for them because they're new probably but they're about 30 bucks is about as cheap as you're going to find those with shipping sometimes about 35 to 40. i was able to get this set for 30 with shipping if you're ordering parts for the newer deck that has the seven point star holes in your blades these are all the models that these blades will fit and there's probably more out there now because this is an older set of blades, older package I had, it's about a year or so old, maybe older than that. Well, that's some of the parts you might need for dealing with these John, John Deere 42 inch decks.